Okay, I'm going to show how I was attempting to loosen up these exhaust nuts on this BMW Airhead. These nuts have a reputation for seizing and some of the various nickel and silver anti-lock magic potions people use end up cementing the things together because they never check them again or the poor thing has just been sitting around for 30 years. Obviously, eventually the thing seizes and cements together and that's the end of that. So anyway, let's give this a try and see what happens. I tried this before, I was testing it again to make sure. Uh, it wasn't budging before. Now it looks like it might be. Actually, I'm surprised. It's working. I can't believe it's working. It is working. My God, it actually came loose. That's a miracle. I've tried it before. It didn't work. But it is coming loose here. All right, so next thing is the second one. We need both. What I was going to do is take the bike for a ride. Let's see if I can heat it up to get it to... Uh, Uh, and see if that would help loosen it up. Now that I've seen it there loose. And instead of like having it here and hitting into the into the mic, I'd rather hit it up into my face. <laughs> see if it budges at all. This isn't budging, so I'm going to definitely take it for a ride. Okay. Let's see if I can do a U-turn here. In. Around. Yep. Yeah, both sides are on uh, reserve, so I'm not sure how much gas I have left, but I know it's, you know, getting down to the minimum. It's not too far, but I sure as hell don't want to push it again. I already got a video where I'm pushing. I don't want another one. <laughs> It's a little steamy in here. It's been hot and humid lately. Naturally, there's fucking traffic when I want to go. Literally running out of gas as we speak. But as my dad used to say, inch as good as a mile. Okay, so the idea now, besides getting fuel, I mean, that's like a little errand to do, was to uh, heat this thing up so that I could get those nuts off. I forgot what they're called, star nuts or something like that. And then I could change the 
a lot of things in there. I could take it all apart, of course, but uh, the main thing was right now, it's been bugging me since day one, is it leaking oil all over the place. So hopefully this little quick ride warms it up and uh, causes some little flexing here and there type of deal and I can get the uh, thing loose. Like I said, this side came loose. Doesn't seem to be leaking though, but I got it to turn, so that's a big plus. I'm sure once I can get it turning, then I can get it off. This one wouldn't budge. And part of the reason I want to find out and get it loose is because if I can't get it off, I'm going to have to cut it off. And if I have to cut it off, that means I can't use it again. I'm going to need a replacement. So I'm trying to figure out what to buy for this job. Okay, now it's a little bit breezy. So here we are back at Shadow Boxer International Headquarters. The Pur purpose of the ride was to heat it up and allow it to flex and break loose a little bit. By the way, this is a good reason to have a full-size version of the wrench. As you can see, um, longer, of course, means more leverage, but it also means you have a place to put your hand while you're hammering it. So when you do this kind of thing, make sure you don't whack your own hand. I've done that before. I'm looking at it when I'm trying to make turn or whatever. And I'm hitting something like this and then I end up hitting my own hand. I pay attention. Does it not seem to be moving? So I was working away at it like this for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes maybe just trying different angles and I couldn't get it to break loose. Now, I wanted to be honest and show you the work, but you don't need to see every single minute of it. Sorry to say, it doesn't seem to be moving. So I'm just trying to show you, you know, some of what I was doing about how hard I was hitting, how I was holding the wrench and just see if that helps you out. Okay, I think that's all my back's going to take for now. <laughs> so, we'll leave her for tonight. We'll leave her tonight and then we'll try to get tomorrow. Okay, now, there's a small uh, span of time here between the last shots of me hammering away at these two things uh, with this wrench and this time I have been coming in period that's days later maybe it's been like a week or so later so I've been coming in periodically when I have five minutes <laughs> and uh, because I know the other side is is uh, loose it's working it's, it's gonna come off so I don't have to buy a new one of these um, I just come in and I and I set this up and I hammer away at it. So I've been hammering away, hammering away, hammering away. This is another time I'm doing it. Um, but the last time I did it was just before I did this recording. Is uh, I set it up the way I normally do, which is just like this, and then I hit this and I hit it quite hard. harder than that is what I've been doing and I just hammer away hammer away hammer away with my logic being the the nut is actually a separate piece right these are supposed to be two separate pieces the head and the uh, and the nut is, is a, the threads on the head and it's it's actually a separate thing that screws on screws off so what I what I was initially thinking is hammering away periodically means that it um, 
eventually I'll break it loose because it, it can't last forever. And if I break a little bit now, a little bit more, a little bit more, still doesn't want to turn, but I'm still making progress. I figured after a few days it would finally break loose. Then when I saw that, you know, this is every other fin. So when I'm ever I'm hitting it like this, I'm only applying force to those fins as far as getting it to, you know, eventually rotate the whole piece. And it doesn't fit together great. This always feels like it kind of wants to fall off. You got to hold it on. Uh, so I'm hammering away like this. Then I thought, you know what? I'll just move it one notch. Instead of just like wherever I can find it, I'm going to on purpose, I put it there, hammer away for a few minutes. Then I'm going to just move it one notch so that every fin eventually, you know, with, that I can reach here. I can't, I can't put it on that side, obviously. Uh, and then eventually, uh, every fin will, will eventually be getting force. And I hope that force is going to be translated down into the threads. So as I was doing that, uh, I finally got it all the way up to about here. I'm, I'm just literally sitting right here. And I'm, I'm hitting this again quite hard. And suddenly, it's turning. Now it doesn't feel like it's ready to spin off. Ugh. I probably shouldn't do that just in case it lets go. Uh, let's put it back here for a second. And this is obviously the terrible angle for me because I'm behind the camera. But it's not going to move. But now let's see if this moves up even if it's not so great angle. So it did finally let go. It is moving. So that's in the right direction. We're making progress in the right direction here, and eventually, I, it looks like I won't have to replace either one of these nuts. I can just stick with the uh, gaskets and uh, etc. Yeah, it's I can see it's moving up here. Compared to the fins, I can see it. But it's tight. Yep, I'd call that a green light, a righteous wing. But it's definitely moving. Hallelujah. Okay, so I got them both off. So this, the point of this video now is to say, um, if it doesn't come off right away, that doesn't mean it won't come off, besides cutting it off, in other words. If you hit it like this for a, a, quite a while, just keep hammering away 50 times, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times, and you get tired of holding it, you, you hold it on as, as secure as you can, finally you just get tired of, of doing it that way, take a break, but then... Uh, move it over one notch you know disengage it rotate it around don't knock the camera over I think it's too far there we go so there you go plug back in and uh, I, I think you'll eventually see that it, it, it will work um, now there are some obviously where it really is fused on there the thing has been never changed since the 1970s it's been sitting in someone's backyard or, or uh, leaning against a fence outside for the last 30 years. Yeah, fine. And eventually there'll be, you'll find some version where it's not going to happen. Um, but I think by uh, starting it in, in, you know, one version, one, one uh, orientation, and then moving it just a one notch over, hammering it there for another, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 times, and, and quite solidly. You're not, you're not going to break the wrench. And then move it over one more time, another another orientation, and just keep doing that. And let's say you get all the way up to here, and you finally, you know, it's going to hit the gas tank eventually, or you're tired, fine, take a break. Come back in two days and do the same thing again. Um, you might be able to break it loose like I did. It looks like in there I can see someone's favorite uh, silver something in there. By the way, another thing about this wrench is it comes in two sizes. And this happens to be, I think this is the smaller size if I recall correctly. Which I stupidly thought, oh that's for travel, right? So I can keep that with me in the toolbox and, and take it with me in case you never need to you never know when you might need to do this job and uh, 
my answer to that is probably never on the road at least so here it is coming off I don't know why you would ever want to do this on the road I mean I guess like let's pretend you needed uh, not, not to do this job my uh, push rod tube seals are leaking that's the whole point of this job but you know let's pretend something happens to your um, exhaust you go over a rock, you fall down, who knows what happens. You need to replace it. Well, you're going to need to do this also. So there it is. came off. There's all the parts. And you can see the threads are in, in good condition. Because I didn't... Uh, I didn't... You have to cut it apart and all that. And or it's not so seized up. But definitely there's silver here. There's nothing coppery in Regardless, uh, this is all uh, old and powdered. So, I'm going to put it back for now. Okay, so if you're going to get the wrench, get, get the longer one, is my advice. Um, between the two options and I would get something sturdy like this not something that looks like it's made out of a piece of uh, you know just cut out of a sheet of steel this is some kind of cast metal I presume iron or something it's quite it's quite heavy for the size and that that got the job done you, you, you want something like this big teeth you know that are gonna be able to get a decent grip on this thing but you can clearly see where the, the aluminum has actually been hammered and bent. The fins look like some of them might be bent, but it came off. Maybe it lucky, maybe a better technique worked, but it, it, it did work, it did come apart. So that's how I would do it. It's <laughs> on my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I almost had an accident myself.